David Fincher's Zodiac is a brilliant film, no doubt. But this is not a review. I want to use Zodiac as a case study for how it uses time jumps effectively. In this video, I'll be using two movies that are examples of good and bad time jumps. Venom is a bad example of how to execute a time jump. We are introduced to the symbiote and our protagonist Eddie Brock who we see as a reporter, has a girlfriend and his own news program and is a funny guy in general. These are not great setups for what could be a well-written character but it's serviceable. But then the story takes a huge shift by introducing a 6 month time jump. The problem here is that it scraps away everything we have learned about Eddie till now and brings in a new Eddie who is now different and has gone through a lot within those 6 months. All that setup is now irrelevant, minutes of runtime wasted and that is how you poorly execute a time jump. Now let's look at Zodiac. Zodiac is a film about people searching for a serial killer named Zodiac. He gives clues and letters to our main characters and they try to crack it. Arguably. Our protagonist is Robert Graysmith, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. He is a cartoonist working for the newspaper and on hearing about the Zodiac Killer, he becomes interested. Throughout the film, we see him attempting to solve the case by cracking his puzzles, tracing the newspaper articles and figuring out connections. So how does the time jump aspect fit in here? Well, as the film progresses, there are many time jumps. It goes from a few hours, to days, to weeks, to months and to even years. This is a very risky move, but this film executes it almost flawlessly. The way it does it is this. As so much time passes by, the curiosity of the case ceases to exist and most cops and some of our main characters lose interest in the case and go about their daily jobs. All but one person, Robert. Robert gets a wife and children, but he's still intent on finding the killer. He becomes obsessed and his obsession causes him to partially neglect his family. As years pass by, everyone forgets about Zodiac, but since Robert is the only one badly wanting to figure out his identity, we connect with him because we want to know who he is as well. So the time jumps are used effectively to connect us to one vital character in the film and their journey to achieve what they want. So Robert's want here is to find out the identity of the Zodiac, which is the same want as everyone else, but the only difference is their want slowly dies down, whereas Robert's want remains the same throughout the duration of the film. Zodiac is a great film, you should all check it out, and uh, that's all I wanted to say. And until next time, I'll see you later.